there and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and if this is your first visit well I sure hope you'll come back and see me again real soon what is it that I have to share with you today well guys I have something in this case let's open it up and see what it is it got I got it from Amazon And everything's sort of coming loose because they shook it around plenty. And the, the glue sticks are going to come sliding out. But it is a glue gun kit. See? A glue gun kit. And it's by Monvict. M O N. V-I-C-T. The link will be in the description. It's a nice small one. And I love that it's um, got this carrying case. It's what I was looking for. One with a carrying case. Uh, so that I could take it uh, with me on the go. I have a really nice one. But I don't have a carrying case for it. So I knew there had to be one that had a carrying case. And this one uh, fit the bill. Hang on a minute. I'm trying to get it out so we can look at it, but I wanted to show you the carrying case as well. So I'm trying to get the things out of it. Well, okay. I think I've got it so the stuff, I can hold it up now without everything falling. I think. I think, I think. All right. So the carrying case has... These elastic straps, the side holds the glue gun in place. It's got two of them, so it holds it in real safe. But it's also got this one here that also holds the cord. So you um, sort of wrap the cord up like this, and you put it in that loop here, and it keeps it um, from getting all tangled up and, you know, making a mess of your glue sticks and all that, and keeps it out of your zipper and what have you. And then it's got one, two, three, four, five, six... Um, loops on this side to hold your glue sticks, your craft sticks or popsicle sticks, that kind of thing. So, um, it won't, I was thinking you could put maybe two rolls of glue sticks, or two rolls, two rows of glue sticks. Let me check and see if you can. No, it, they're just a little bit, the case, if it was just a tiny bit bigger, like a half an inch longer, um, you would have been able to put glue sticks up here and glue sticks down here. But they could have made one sideways instead of more this way. If they would have put one sideways, you could have put more glue sticks and um, or more craft sticks or something. But it's, it's good the way it is. It's just my critique, um, you know, what I'm thinking about it. Uh, the neat thing is it's got a handle, so it zips up. The handle can go inside or outside. Okay, so the handle can go inside the bag if you're going to put it, like, in another bag uh, so it doesn't get caught on anything or it can be on the outside and it can go around your wrist. So that's really handy. Yeah. And so here, it's just a very standard-looking glue gun. Uh, very lightweight. A little plasticky, but, you know, it's a glue gun. It's, what, do you want, what do you want, right? A little switch here on and off. You put your glue stick through here, and the nozzle will be hot. It's got the little stand to help keep your nozzle from touching things. It folds up or folds down. And it's got your standard trigger there that pushes the glue stick through. So let's unwrap our cord and plug this in. Ugh, my sinuses. Sorry, guys, I've got my Miniverse Kitchen because I'm going to be making one of those videos next. And so... Okay, let me get a glue stick. I'm going to start a project. The part that I can do at the moment because I need to get fabric. Um, so we can check this out. I'm going to start it and then maybe we'll finish it in a different video. Or at the end of this video if I get the fabric in time. Alright. The, these glue sticks seem to be a little short. So I'm going to get a second one and already have that one pushed all the way in. Put one in, start it behind it. 
All right, I am going to make, where's the other half of this? Hang on, something got lost. Let's think about this a couple different ways after I pick up the piece that fell on the floor. All right, what I'm going to do is make a bed, a round bed for Gracie. I know I'm off center, but uh, it's because Bugatti's sitting here and I've got pieces and parts sitting on the bed. Um, okay, before I go and that's heating up, I'm trying to decide what if we glued this to this this to the top and then we could have a shelf in the middle how would that look of course i could try this a couple different ways um like i said i'm making a bed for gracie that abby can actually reach and will be the appropriate size i'm thinking if i put it together this way then there's a shelf underneath to put like you know, bedding, diapers, whatever, and Gracie would be up here in a, um, you know, with a mattress. That would be kind of neat, yeah? Or what I had planned on originally was this for the bottom, and then this gold table leg, and then this gold table leg like this, And then this one top. Really? <sighs> I drop in things. Okay. And then this, like I did the table that I made, like the breakfast table, and then put this on top. And then there would be no shelving. Or I was thinking of putting it on this tabletop and like this. What do you think, guys? I think the tabletops, I mean, it could be on the bottom, a tabletop on the bottom, and then like that. That would look good. But I think that so it all matches, this looks better. But then, as I said, this gives it a shelf. What? Let's try it with the shelf. Let's just try that. If we hate it, we can always undo it, right? Let's try it. So here's my glue gun. We're gonna put hopefully an ample amount of glue. It is on. Why are we not dispensing any glue? It's doing like absolutely nothing. It's hot. Whoa, now I've got glue all over my bed. It's just not advancing the glue for some reason. Now it is. For some, some reason, it wasn't advancing the glue, but now I've got it. Hold it while it's drying. But it doesn't seem like the glue wants to stick. Hmm. Put a little extra glue around it. And the gaps make sure it make sure it holds. I don't want to fall apart with Gracie in it. Seems like it's gonna hold. Let's put blue on top and I want to glue this shelf in first because it likes to fall out and I want to put a little glue underneath there to hold it in place just a little bit on both sides.
because I hate that they fall out all the time. The shelf, oops. I hope we have our shelf in place. I can paint this if I desire the thing to be all one color or, you know, something like that. I may do that, or I'm thinking about possibly wrapping it with this really fuzzy um, white yarn that I have. I'm not sure which I plan to do yet. I think this is a neat idea, actually. And I think it's going to make it a nice height. I think it's a better idea than what I had. And I don't have to sacrifice my, my tables that I may want to use for something else. I'm going to go ahead and put a little more glue around the sides where there's a gap. The first glue stick just wasn't, um, somehow just wasn't in it, in it correctly. So it was causing um, it not to advance. But once I pushed it past whatever was stopping it, it, it may have been a, a wonky glue stick because it's working just fine now. It's advancing the second glue stick without an issue. When it gets down to a certain length, it does want to stop. But, you know, they all do. But, you know, I would expect it to uh, advance a little better. Still, you know, a little longer, not better. It's advancing fine. A little longer, you know, but when it gets down to about yay much, it wants to quit. So, and I haven't used a glue, a glue gun in a while, so it could just be me, <laughs> you know, thinking that it should work when it doesn't. So anyways, there's some glue strings that need to be dealt with. And I think once I wrap it with that yarn, I think that that will be a neat look. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to wrap that yarn around the outside and um, maybe even into this part. Um, and then I can make the mattress. I will do part two of, it's not, um, this is not on as straight as I would like, but it's glued on now. I, it slid a little and I didn't notice. <laughs> and now it's, it's a little, it's a little crooked on top, but you know what? It's for a doll. It'll be fine. Um, I don't have a doll here to show you height-wise, but definitely it's going to be better than what comes with the My Mini, the Zuru My Mini 5 Surprise, whatever, uh, silicone dolls. It's definitely going to be better than what comes with it because it's not made to be Barbie-sized. I'm going to turn the glue off. Um, you know, it's made to be kid playing size they didn't size it for barbies which they should have thought of that i think but it's not barbie brand so you know what i mean all right so that's pretty cool huh you can put um blankets and and sleepers and diapers on the shelves and um you can put a mattress and the baby on top and you could even possibly hang on there's an idea i have you know what we could do guys we could even glue this in and make it like a hood. Or let's see if we if one of the round ones. Hey, guys. This will work just fine. I'm going to turn that back on. I'm going to glue this in. That's going to be like a hood. Okay? Think about it. And then it's all going to be wrapped in the white string. So it's going to be fluffy and cute. And I think this is going to be really neat. What do you think? I could, you could even if you wanted to, close this off in the back with the, with the lid. I'm not going to, but I mean you could to make it so the shelving is enclosed and, um, you know, and it would go up against a wall kind of if you wanted to. But I don't think I'm going to. But, it, you know, it's an option. Your stuff would still fall down off the shelf. You know, it's not flat. You could make a flat piece with a piece of... You could make a flat... Mm, let me look. And I have glue on my bedspread. Nice. 
and it's really stuck. I'm going to have to melt it off. <sighs> Michelle, you're a messy crafter. So, what I was thinking is, hang on. You can tell I don't have these things planned out in advance. Not because I don't, you know, think it's important to do so, but because I get ideas on the fly. We could cut out a circle out of this um, foam board and put on the back, and that would close it off so the stuff doesn't fall out. I'm, I'm not going to be able to cut it out right now and do it because it would take a minute because I'm not, like, strong enough to cut it easily. But And I could use one of these lids to make the circle because that would fit pretty perfectly on the back of here. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But this should be hot enough. I should be able to first get another glue stick. Because it needs another glue stick already. These little uh, thinner glue sticks, these little mini sticks, they sure don't go far. All right. You might want to decide where you're going to sit it in your room before you glue the hood on it because it may, you know, make a difference as to how you glue it, you know, which side. But Check that out. That looks even more like a baby bed, doesn't it? Let's see if I can plug this hole up with glue. So it'll look better from the inside. Or it might just make it look messy. I don't know. I'm putting glue around the edge to help hold it in place. Because, again, I'm going to cover mine with that fuzzy yarn. I got it at Dollar Tree for the purpose of doing this and some other projects. Hopefully I got enough. And I'm just filling it in, trying to make sure that it's got plenty of glue to hold it in place for, you know, moving it around during play. I was trying to flatten that knob out where the that hole where the knob goes because I'm going to cover the inside with fabric probably. Or I could use that fuzzy stuff too. I don't know. Okay, so you'll see another glue gun video um, later that showing putting the rest of it together, putting the um, yarn around it. So there'll be a part two. Um but yes guys i like this glue gun a lot it is really small which is easier for me the bigger they are the heavier they are the worst time i have working with the glue gun because i am just not very strong let me see if i can melt this glue off my bed all right guys so i wanted to get, jump on here really quick and show you what i did with the baby bed i glued chenille yarn on to the, the base and the uh, bassinet part and I did the inside of it as well hopefully you can see that I made a little cushion I'm going to cover it with fabric but at the moment it's just a piece of foam and then I cut out a round blanket out of fleece and then I just, to show, there's like fleece burp cloths there and a couple of blankets, uh, a cotton blanket and a couple of fleece blankets. And you can put other things on it as well. Now, I don't have Bracy in here with me, but I just wanted to show it to you finished. Uh, I may hang a dangly little charm for a toy here. Um, 
I thought about possibly putting a uh, lace trim around it um, but for the most part it is finished and um, yeah that's a way to recycle and use that new glue gun and uh, recycle our miniverse things into some usable doll furniture so anyways guys tell me what you think and while you're down there Please give me that big old thumbs up because you know that would truly help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel. And please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Mwah. Bye guys.